Hey guys, Bolt Trudy here. So, we're here to go over the Nancy Drew mystery that we just finished this week on Bolt Family. This will be the summary of Secrets Can Kill, the remastered version. So if you guys don't know, Bolt Family is coming back kind of with the Nancy Drew mysteries where it used to be a nostalgic thing for my childhood. Basically, my, me and my grandmother sat down and played mysteries. Well, me, her, and my uncle. And basically, we try to notice things and try to finish the story together as a family. And that was like our family ga um, game night, basically. Um, so, Nancy Drew holds the thing in my heart. Um, so, once I heard that the games were digital on Steam, I went and bought the first five. Sadly, the second story, uh, Stay Tuned to Danger, and the original version of secrets can kill are not on there so the original experience slash the second thing will sadly not be a part of that series unless they reveal that it's on there um eventually and then also it seems like number 27 ships is also not on there as well so anyways now that that is out of the way we have another announcement. I shouldn't have done it, but I did. I put money into the, to the setup again. The curved monitors will be coming in Sunday. So, thanks to Black Friday, I will be having a double monitor set up now. So hopefully that will work better. And it is curved, so hopefully it looks better. Um, anyways, that aside, um, that's the story of what Nancy Drew for me is, and we also got an update. Anyways, I've tried this video before, but the thing is I had no shirt on for it, and I was trying to cover myself with a blanket, and I didn't want that as the video. So anyways, and also I also was speeding and chilled and all that, so I was worried about other things. So basically, Nancy Drew, in every single mystery, she's basically the version of Mystery Inc., Scooby-Doo and gang, but in a more realistic setting with murders and injuries and all that. And basically people out to stop her and kill her if she gets in their way. Um, instead of monsters and ghouls that are masked humans just trying to look for money or trying to scare them off a of property. Um, this is legit people trying to use that kind of method or other methods in scare tactics to do so so basically she's going down this is the remastered version so I believe the original had other setup but this is so far what remastered is basically Nancy Drew goes to go see her aunt just like a lot of mysteries start up they go to she goes to vacation go see a family member or a friend or something and something goes wrong to where now she's in the middle of a mystery well, she's been put in undercover as a high school student um, because a murder happened. Apparently, someone was beat up and, and uh, pushed downstairs to die. Um, and she basically has to go undercover and see who was out to get them. And the character, the person that ended up dying was a boy named Jake. Um, there is a total of four suspects. In, um, and this would be, let me see here. You have Daryl Gary, the son of a business owner. Um, apparently, his father went bankrupt thanks to his company, but his company, I believe, made weapon plans that were like militaristic kind of plan. And uh, basically, they went under under the um, they went under, and he ended up having to go to a job. And uh, him and Jake also worked at the same place. I believe others the others have, but they basically went to a restaurant and had shifts. Um, and that's how he made some of his money, but the thing is he started making so much money that he was able to get a car that was pretty good looking. And why is it when I'm in the middle? Sorry guys, peep, someone called Bug. Anyways, so Daryl, he's a part of this restaurant, he's making too much money to get what he has, so he's suspicious of, he's doing something that's making too much money. Um, Connie, she is a respectful young lady who, I think there's, I didn't really get to see, I think, I think she dated Jake, I don't know, 
But I know for sure she was going out with Daryl, and during a dance, she ended up having to cancel on him. Um, she also is into the Juto um, crane school, um, thanks to a medallion you find. Um, and then the year is Hal. I'm trying to remember his other name. I have my notes. Hold on. I can't see in this light. Um, I have, I wrote a lot of stuff that I, I didn't need. So what happened with the Nancy Drew game is I ended up writing every single thing I thought would be necessary. And half the stuff isn't necessary because all it is is once Nancy sees it, she can just read text to someone. So I was a little pissed about that one. So I think we'll just call him Hal. Hal is the, is the Asian exchange student that has to do better and get into a good college to impress his family. Or he puts dishonor on, on himself and has to go back home. Um, so he puts himself under work and stress because of such things. And then there is Hulk, um, the uh, pro f kind of football player who is trying to get into a college and then get into the big leagues. Um, but then he, uh, it is pretty e easy to say that he's taking steroids because there was a plot point where he, he had an injury a few weeks beforehand and he somehow is still able to work through it and do even better. Um, and basically ends up finding out that Jake ends up blackmailing Hal, Connie, and Hulk. Hulk, he, he, uh, Hulk... And uh, Connie, he hides a secret camera in their locker and um, gets the secret. Ba basically, Connie um, entered a, um, a judo tournament that was only meant for men, but went as a masked vigilante kind of situation and won the tournament and took the trophy for herself. And basically, her, the personal, the hidden camera caught her putting the, the um, I think he was taking her mask off and putting the trophy in her locker. Um, basically she violated the rules of that, cha of that championship, so she was awarded a trophy, um, I think, on, uh, out of, out of the, I, I don't know what the name is, but basically she, uh, she had a violation, she violated the, the rules, um, and then Hal, basically he caught him, uh, copying a speech, um, because he was so under work, he was so overworked that he ended up copying off a book um, for an essay, um, and basically he caught him copying that book. And then Hulk, he caught him stashing steroids, which apparently these steroids were stolen from a from a pharmacy that he broke into the through the window and stole. Um, and basically, they all have good motives to kill Jake because he blackmailed them into doing such things as doing fevers for him, doing running and errands for him. Um, like Hal was supposed to do his homework. Hulk was supposed to be the person protecting slash doing errands for him. Um, I believe Connie might have... That's probably why he she dated him was because um, Daryl was dumped just because um, he had that that blackmail and said, I want you to date me to get this under the rug. Um, cause I didn't catch anything she was supposed to do else in that. Um, and then Daryl, I guess is he, he, he sells secrets to people. Um, he, you can find this in hidden messages. Jake leaves. He leaves, he goes to the restaurant and sells secrets to people, um, that are not his. Um, and he makes that money that he needs for, for the big flashy cars and stuff. Um, and then through all this stuff, a big part of this was the, uh, periodic table, the elements. Basically, you take the initials, the initials made for it, and you're supposed to make this huge thing that ends up just giving you the videotape to show that he blackmailed those three. Um, and then I'm trying to remember what was the other step. But I believe the other step was just trying to find another videotape which showed 
uh, a Jake Journal videotaped where basically he says Daryl went through, um, Mitch, actually no, um, he went through Mitch to sell his father's secrets, um, which Mitch is a, um, he's install is he's an installer for cooling and heating units. Um, basically he says, here's some stuff you might be interested, I'll sell it to you for some money. Um, and basically Mitch, um, went to that and then the undercover agent this is a big spoiler for this game but the undercover agent that asked Nancy to come and help him ended up being a nobody that went underneath another name and said he was undercover agent and uh, he basically got a hold of the, the stuff for Nancy um, and said hey you're a good snoop I want you to find this dirt they have under us, get it, I can take it, erase it, and it'll be no thing, and I can't get in trouble for stuff. Um, and basically, Mitch slash, uh, I didn't, I kind of didn't understand fully, but, um, Daryl slash Mitch were selling these secrets to the undercover agent, um, to go, and then he gave him lots of money, and, uh, Mitch, after figuring out that Jake had this dirt on them, killed the Jake, um, and because of this, uh, the undercover agent separated their their ties. Um, this making Mitch a little bit more instigating, like he wants to rid of any evidence or anything. So he once he catches on to Nancy trying to snoop around, he threatens her. But the thing is, he doesn't understand caller ID. So she and uh, Nancy ends up being able to be like, "Hey, you're basically the same person who just threatened me, saying I I shouldn't. Have, I know you have something to do with this murder now. Thanks." Um, so basically, that's how Jake. He basically blackmailed people, found some dirt on some people that he wasn't supposed to find out, and because of the dirt existing, um, to get rid of it and to erase it completely, they killed him off. The thing is, because Jake being some kind of smart, huge, I can plan my things after my death, basically set clues around for someone to find, um, to find his death, find the, the culprits, and also blow the cover of his um, blackmail. That way he has some final words about it. Basically, Nancy doesn't say anything to the authorities about the three blackmails. Um, she just mentions Daryl. Daryl has to go com apologize to his dad for selling such things. Um, Mitch gets arrested for, for the death, and um, the um, cop slash undercover agent ends up getting apprehended and uh, is, is such. Uh, only reason you have uh, availability to the school is your the aunt is the librarian. Um, so she has access to the student lounge, the, the teacher's lounge. She has passwords into the computer where you can get passwords and stuff. Um, that's how you get availability to the building. Hold on. Now that we're not looking at that. Um, and then, uh, sorry. Um, trying to think I just came off Thanksgiving this is literally off Thanksgiving <clears throat> okay and that's what it is so basically Connie she went back to the dojo and said I'm sorry I'm the one who won here's your trophy back I'm sorry for breaking your, your conduct and they said it's all right we'll just include woman in the next tournament that way you can win as an actual victor um, that way they include all women in it too um, and Hulk went back and paid for the damages to the pharmacy um, and Hal ended up uh, mentioning and saying yeah I, I copied I, and you know being students making some mistakes the human beings it ain't something you can't apologize and make up for um the thing is, all those three, unlike Daryl, actually unlike Mitch and the undercover agent, 
there is an apologize way into go back. Daryl, it was his father. All he had to do was says, I kind of wanted, I needed the money. I also needed stuff to do my own thing. I wanted to make it to where our name was still relevant. Um, where Connie was trying to do it to where she's a female, but she's also a pretty good fighter, so she should be recognized, but she also kind of went against um, rules. So it's just, she's like, this is kind of unfair, but it's your rules. And then Hulk is just saying, his thing was, he got injured during a thing, and the fact that he needed to keep doing stuff because he wanted a career, and he kind of got into a panic, so he ended up doing such. Um, and then Hal is just he was so, he was so under stress that he decided to alleviate himself of something major, which I believe I'm trying to remember. I think they had him retake it that way he can do it on his own. Um, that's basically it. It's basically three students were blackmailed by Jake. Jake uh, blew, had the uh, lid to blow on uh, Daryl and the uncovered agent and the Mitch situation. And basically everyone got s suspicious and uh, threw it into a corner basically. And uh, apparently I believe the journal that the undercover agent is constantly asking. He's asking for the journal slash the diary of um, of Jake. And eventually when Nancy comes upon the tape that mentions uh, Daryl's situation, um, it reveals that the journal he's looking for is actually a book of his own, which goes over all the plans and all that that was sold to him. All the secrets that he bought. And basically the end of the of the story is basically she ends up accidentally slipping and seeing your journal which gets into a huge aggressive situation where he puts her at gunpoint she there's a there's a little thing in her aunt's thing where there is a locket a locker and uh basically you have to push him towards that and in the beginning of the game it says don't get the combination wrong um and when you constantly get him to fail attempts, it ends up catching him in a cage. It's basically a secure, um, it's a, fa it's a fail safe. Basically when he decided to, um, put so many combinations wrong, a cage dropped and caught him. Anyways, that's basically it. Um, it's, it's kind of a stupid story, but basically teenagers did stuff they're not supposed to. Adults got involved. The adults uh, kind of did way over their head and decided to take out a high schooler, which that's not going to go over the freaking thing. This isn't on a street. That's in a freaking school. They're going to be found eventually. But anyways, that's it for this video. Well, I'm working on message in, a man in the mansion, in the haunted mansion. Um... I think I'm actually got my first, uh, it's two videos, but it counts as one day. So I believe next Monday we'll have, um, the first two, the, f the first part in two halves of the, of the first part. Um, it is a little creepy because it is classic looking versus the remastered, um, so it is nicer than the remastered to have a nostalgia for. Um, but it was a little creepy because uh, when I went up the stairs, I heard the uh, I see you and, and I whispered. And I'm like, who in the hell with that? Anyways, I'm getting tired. I have other things to do. What? I need to get this done. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.